Hey guys, it's gonna be a short video today. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about uh, Airflow. So what exactly Airflow is? So Airflow is basically a helpful tool that helps or that makes managing your work easier. So you can think of a uh, different task that needs to be done in a specific order, right? So Airflow helps you to schedule and keep track of the task just similar to your personal assistant. Airflow uses DAG, so which is also called as Directed Acrylic Graph, so that represent your work as a series of connected steps, similar to your flowchart uh, where you uh, have a flowchart which says like um, how exactly the task should look like and what exactly should be the next steps when the current task is completed, right? So with Airflow, you can um, manage organize automate your work making sure that the tasks are done in a right sequence and it is very efficient and reliable right um, I may record a video on that like how do you exactly um, you know install airflow and this is installed in a on a Ubuntu server so now uh, let's talk a little bit about it right so I was talking about uh, DAG, which is also called as Directed Acrylic Graph, right? So here I have created a task and the task is to add users to CUCN. Now if you look here, like the owner, owner is nothing but who is going to own this task and it talks about runs, right? Uh, status of all previous DAG runs. So this one is for queued, this one is for success, this one is for running and this one is for free. So whenever you run a uh, task. So it's gonna go through all of these states, right? Depending on the success and the failure are uh, um, on for that particular task. If in case if you have scheduled your task on a daily basis or early basis, your uh, schedule will show here. So this is basically a Python script. On the py Python script, you import uh, Airflow uh, related modules and you do the right uh, sort of you know uh, um, configuration. I would say like. You write a right sort of um, comma, um, I mean um, commands on your Python script and run the DAG. Now, when was this last run, next run, and the recent tab? So this recent task shows about none, removed, scheduled, queued, running, success, etc., etc. Right? And here you see the actions play. So this play button will basically is going to run your uh, task, and this is going to delete your DAG and if i have to show you right how exactly it looks like so if i have to click on this particular task right so this is how it looks like now i just wanted to show you the graphical interface of this so what i'm going to do today is uh, basically i've created some um, logic here so first i'm going to check um, so basically i can uh, run it on a schedule basis like uh, every hour you uh, run this uh, task that's something I can do. Otherwise, I can run it on demand as well. In today's video, I'm going to run it on demand, but uh, I can schedule this uh, um, and uh, you know, it will automatically run the task every X number of hours or X number of days as per your requirement, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically check if any Active Directory users are created in last 60 minutes. If yes, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the value and after checking the value, if there is no, uh, let's say there are no users created in the last 60 minutes, it is going to end the task. But let's say if there is a user who is created in the last 60 minutes, it is going to create a user. So basically it is going to, you know, do a LDAP sync on the call manager so that the users who was created in the last 60 minutes, right, that can be imported. Now, after the LDAP sync is completed. So in this step, right, I'm doing LDAP sync manually. But let's say if you don't want to do a LDAP sync, so what you can do is you can wait for the next LDAP sync to happen. So maybe let's say uh, you run the LDAP sync on your uh, call manager every six hours. So after the steps, you can do a pause here for six hours. And after six hours, it will go to the steps, right? So this is something you can achieve. But here I'm not waiting for six hours. So I'm just uh, doing a manual LDAP sync here. Now, after that, what you can do is you, uh, I'm going to get a available directory number from call manager, which is not being used and whatever is available, right? Which I can uh, use in uh, the series that I have uh, numbers with, right? 
I get that from the call manager and I'm going to add a directory number on the call manager. And after adding a directory number, I'm going to add a phone, which is going to be a Java phone. And this Java phone uh, will basically be associated with the end user. Uh, I can write certain more steps where after you know associating the end user, I can create a voicemail. And after creating the voicemail, I can send an email to the user that your account has been created. But those steps are not included in this video but I can definitely include this. So what is the purpose of having this task in uh, here in the real time scenario is right. So in real time scenario, when you have such kind of task, right? So let's say whenever uh, a whenever users are created on Active Directory. So what uh, you, you can do as part of your business, uh, you can run this task every midnight, uh, let's say after 12 or one o'clock midnight. And you can, uh, you know, get the user accounts created on the call manager, including your, um, you know, sending an email uh, to the user related to the account details, right? So whenever a new joining joins the company, so as soon as his account is created on AD, so what will happen is as soon as the account is created on AD, it is also going to provision your user accounts on the call manager and uh, his email account, whatever is created, right, newly, uh, in that email address, uh, your his uh, Java related account details will be sent uh, so that whenever he joins the company, he logs in. Uh, so he knows like, okay, there is a Java account created for him and he can start using it, including the instructions, right? So I've uh, already covered this in my one of the video, but in that video, I've not used Airflow. So I've used a manual mechanism to, you know, uh, provision the users and, uh, you know, send an email to the user whenever the you know, user provisioning is done. So in this video, we are going to th go through the workflow and then create the user. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to the Active Directory and go to the user. I'm going to add a user in this directory. So let's say the user account is um, user or maybe user B or let's say user xyz and his login email address is user xyz at the rate uccollabbing.com let's create a password for the user so now let's assume this user is created right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this task so this task is going to check how many users are created in the last 60 minutes you can definitely increase the timer you can also check how many users are created created on the active directory for last one day two day depending on your requirement uh, of course so but in our requirement i have i'm checking how many users are created in last 60 minutes uh, 60 minutes so what i'm going to do is uh, once this user is created i'm going to also assign him a test number because i have created a filter on the call manager that uh, it will look for um, the users with uh, ip phone having a number right so that's a filter which i have created on the call manager otherwise this user will not get imported right so i'll put some telephone number over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the task now if i have to show you the user is right now uh, not imported on the call manager so user xyz if i go to the end user so in end user you see the user is not yet imported so let's do one thing let's import the user now by running this task Trigger. so now if you see here the task is running right now so it will change the status from running to either success or failed depending on the status right so mo most of the times or many of the times you will see like uh, it is the task is first in queued and then it starts running but here in our case, it started running by itself without getting queued. So let's see. Okay, so it says success. So let's see what success means here, right? I'll go to this tag, right? I'll check if the users were created or not. So let's see the logs here. Okay, so if you notice here, right? So in the logs, it it was able to retrieve the user who was created in the last uh, 60 minutes. So this was the user. 
who was created in last 60 minutes and it was able to retrieve the information from the ED. Now, okay, after it uh, was able to retrieve, right? So if you notice here, the end task is skipped because it was able to retrieve the value. Uh, and I'm checking this data here. See, it is going to create a user rather than and going to skip the end task, right? Because it was able to find a value. Now, if I go to the end user, uh, create user page, right? So it has nothing, but it is uh, basically uh, linking to other task, subsequent task. Now I go here. So it's it initiated the LDAP sync on the call manager, right? And after the LDAP sync was completed, so what it does is it finds for a directory number on the call manager. So it was able to find 10,005 as the available directory number on the call manager, which is not being used by any of the users. Now we'll see after it finds the available directory number. Now it should assign a directory number with this. Now it has added a line okay, on the call manager. Now I go here, add a phone. So in the add a phone, right, it was uh, successfully, you know, added a phone on the call manager, right? Now I go to the end user task. In the end user task, it was able to, um, you know, update the user with the Java account. So let's see on the call manager side, right? Okay, so we see user XYZ was created on the call manager. Now, if I have to show you here, it has associated CSF user XYZ and uh, it has also checked the home cluster and enable unified M presence for this user, right? And now if I have to go to this user here, you see this user was created CSF user A. I'm not putting all the details like device pool and uh, other stuff. So I can customize that if required, but at this moment, I'm not focused on customizing those details. Right? It has created a user. Now it has also associated the or added a directory number and associated this directory number with the end user. Right. So this is exactly how uh, you know DAG works. All right. Uh, I mean Airflow works. So you create a task and you can run this task every uh, x number of hours, midnight, or as per your requirement, and add the users to the call manager. And uh, the steps can include, of course, sending the notification to the user after all the accounts are created so i'm sure this can be useful in many of the scenarios but at this moment i'm just focusing on uh, you know uh, showing you like how do you add a user to the call manager along with that elapsing using airflow i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching